Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the App Podcast. Today we're going to take a look at iKeepFit. iKeepFit is a, another one of those applications, but actually one with a lot of features that allows you to keep track of how you're doing. Um, my profile is the first thing that you need to set up. Uh, so you go and hit OK, and it takes you to your profile, which I've kind of entered as some of my information, um, because you have to enter your information in centimeters, kilograms, and all that stuff. And I am from the United States, and even though I believe that the metric system is a much more, uh, is a much better way to measure than it is um, using our system. Uh, and I think anybody who's in construction uh, or architecture or any form, anything you have to measure with will probably agree with me. Uh, so I didn't enter in all that profile information um, because there should be an option, although I have not found there to be an option that actually lets you change that information. Um, I have gone into the, uh, the settings and did not see that there. So um, there's nothing there. So that's not where you would change it. So it's not an actual option, and that's okay, uh, I guess. You know, I could easily go online and do the conversion or download a, a, a conversion application to do that. Um, I just don't think that I should have to. So basically, you fill in your profile information. Um, you can add food categories here or choose from food ca categories uh, here and choose from exercises to put in as well. Um, you have a summary right here each day. You go and add your meal list. So uh, I would go and add a new food entry, which I could do from recent or popular foods, user-defined foods, which you would set up in your profile, um, or I could just add them from a list here and I could do a search. So um, let's just real easily, you know, do a search for pizza. And we got a lot of options. So let's just choose um, a Domino's, even though I'd never buy Domino's pizza, and uh, add a measurement. One slice and. Let's put two for the slices. And so there's my kilo calories, which I don't quite understand how to measure that either. Um, but uh, you get a little bit more information here as well. I can hit done. And I have that in for today, which I did not eat pizza today, by the way. So I can add exercises now. Um, let's uh, put in some sit-ups because I did do sit-ups this morning. Looks like that's not a option. All right. Oh, there we go. Now let's enter a duration. I'm guessing that's by minutes, so let's put in 30 minutes. I'm guessing that that's what that is, is minutes. So let's hit done and Let's see what kind of charts we have here. Probably nothing because I haven't entered all my profile information. Oh, looks like we had a little bit of a freeze. So let's wait for that to reset and then go back into the app. Um, that could be because I'm clicking on stuff awfully fast and, and running out of memory, like I've said. Um, some of these applications have so much stuff going on that they are kind of memory intensive. So. All right, so we're looking at, well, we're going over, let's go back to the summary. So basically, uh, I've, I have my diet summary for the day. Um, I have some calories that I have left to eat uh, and some information that it's shown, the percentages and everything, which I really like. I like those percentages that are there because now I can say, oh, okay, well, I need, you know, I need some more protein. I've already consumed 30%, so I have 70% left, and I've consumed 50% of my carbs, so maybe I should stay away from breads or something like that or not eat much more of it. So it kind of helps you um, plan out what you should eat for the rest of the day because it gives you a lot of information based on that. Um, I can go into my diet summary here, and uh, if I click on it, Up oh, there we go, and add more into my meal list. 
uh, and all that good stuff too. So uh, if you fill out all of your information, then you're going to get charting information here, which is nice, weekly and monthly to view that. Uh, and then there's lots of exercises, and of course you can add in your own stuff as well, just in case one is not listed. So this is a very, very well put together app. It has a lot of features and functionality uh, for and one of these applications for healthcare and fitness. So definitely check it out. If you're looking for one of these apps, there are many of them out there uh, like it, but this one has a couple of fe features, as I've mentioned, that I really like. So um, definitely check out I Keep Fit and leave your thoughts and reviews on our website, theapppodcast.com, which is also the place you could buy it from. Right underneath the video review, click download this app. That helps support us. You can follow us on twitter.com slash theapppodcast and get updates as well. Take care and we'll see you next time.